99% of woodworkers don't know about this unique doweling method called Miller Dowels. This is gonna get you a really unique look and be super strong. Let me show you. So Miller Dowels come in various different species. I have walnut and birch here, but they also have oak and cherry and they come in various different sizes. What makes these extremely unique is this four step design. Now this first piece kind of acts like a clamp that's gonna hold the two pieces together as you insert it. The second section gives it some sheer strength and then the remaining sections are anchor points to secure both pieces of wood together. Now they do require this special drill bit that comes in each kit if you buy the kits or you could just buy the dial separately if you already have this bit once you get started. Depending on the thickness of the wood will depend on which size you would want to use. These are really made for three quarter, half inch stock. These are really made for up to an inch and an eighth. How deep do you drill these holes? Well, the drill bit has this, uh, basically an indention all the way around right there. And that's pretty much the depth where you'll stop. When you're drilling that hole, you'll see that line right there as you're drilling. Once you get there, that's where you stop. So to simulate what it would be like to use these in a drawer or a box, all I did was take some walnut and cut them into equal size strips as far as the width goes. And then I just glued them together, just a tiny bit of glue just to hold them before I put the dowels in. Once the dowels in, then you don't really need that glue joint. This is perfect for making drawers, boxes, anything that's square. Next, I'm just gonna mark a line using a square. I just want these dowels to be in line with each other. It's just gonna look better. And then after that, I'm gonna use a center punch just so that that drill bit doesn't walk when we first start. Then from there, we're gonna take the Miller dial. We're gonna put a little glue on this ribbed section. Use as much or as little as you like. It needs to be a decent amount, I think. You can use it all the way down. That stepped hole certainly won't hurt anything. From there, you're just gonna drive it in and drive it home. It should bottom out. You'll hear it, that solid sound. As you can see, there's quite a bit of dial down in there and that step design. It basically acts kind of like a nail, like you're gluing a nail in place. That's gonna make it super strong. You won't ever have to worry about those coming apart. Let's flush trim these. We'll see what they look like. So I wanted to make a tool caddy, like this finished product you see here. It looks super awesome with those Miller dials in there. It's gonna make that very strong. And this is a really cool project that you can make really easily with some scrap wood or as a beginner or a great kids project if you wanna let them use these Miller dials after you cut the parts out. There'll be free plans available for this when you're ready, but I'm gonna show you how to build it real quick. First thing I did was cut out both ends and put those angles on there. Then I cut out the sides, then the bottom, and then just a 5 8 inch dial. You're gonna drill about halfway through those ends for that 5 8 inch dial to set in about an inch down. It's gonna give it a nice little handle. I don't glue that in because I want that to kind of roll as you pick up this thing. Next thing I did was just put a little bit of glue on everything and clamp it together for a couple of hours. This just sticks it until you put the dials in. The dials are the strength, not the glue in this project. I'm gonna use the wall Walnut Miller dials here at inch and five eighths by quarter inch. That's gonna make a really nice contrast when we put our finish on there. From there, I'm just gonna center punch everywhere I want a dial. I've laid all these out, kind of space them out equally around the edge of this tool slash drink caddy. And then you can just start drilling the holes from there, inserting the dials. Now I made this out of MDF. You can certainly make it, and I would actually encourage you to make it out of hardwood or some other type of material, plywood even works too. This is just a proof of concept. I wanted to try it out of MDF. Once that's done, we're gonna take the flush trim saw and flush trim all of those up. When flush trimming, don't flush trim, cut toward your thumb. It kind of hurts. <laughs> cut my finger a little bit. That's all right. Just be careful there because that little saw is sharp. That was totally my fault. Band-Aid on, we're ready to rock. If you don't have a flush trim saw, you're gonna need one for dial joinery. This is a very inexpensive and very sharp, as you saw. This. It, as you saw, saw. <laughs> this is a really good saw. I'll link it in the description if you're interested, as well as the dowels and everything you saw used today. Sand this up, about 120 grits, all we're really gonna need, just basically removing those pencil marks. When you apply your favorite finish to these, of course, I like Outlaw's board butter because it's mine. <laughs> but when you put it on there, it looks really nice. You get those really nice contrasting colors to dark light, that's where it really shines. Whoo, look at that. One thing I really appreciate about these Miller dials is they come in several different sizes and you get different looks. So we use like a medium size to put two on one side. The smaller size, you can get three in that joint and it just looks really cool. Or you could just use the bigger size, do one. However you want to set it up and different contrasting colors. It's just a really cool joinery method. You can even use them to repair drawers if you have one fail or just to give them a little extra strength. As you see here, this drawer right here. I put one of those small walnut dowels in there, even though I have it properly uh, joined like that. But if it was just a butt joint, you could actually shore those up just like that. And it gives it a little something extra. Three things I love about the Miller dowels. Number one, they're extremely beginner friendly. So if you've never tried dowel joint or anything like that, 
This is a good way to start because you don't need a special dial jig that costs a couple hundred dollars to make a dial hole. All you do is take their drill bit, drill through there. The whole kit is extremely affordable. That's the second reason I like them. They're very affordable for what you're getting. A really nice, unique dial joint. Very strong, it's gonna hold all the way through and it's just super easy to do. And of course, number three is it, they just look cool. I, I really like this joinery system. This is a great way to add a lot of contrasting joinery to a project that would otherwise be kind of boring and it's very strong. You can see here where I use the bandsaw just to get a cross section cut on this to see what was going on. Very interesting how each section of that dial really is tight inside that joint. You see where some of that dial is missing, that's where I actually cut the dial out of there. But it is super tight all the way down through there. And then I did drill the one pretty crooked. But as long as you basically stay in the center of that board, you're gonna be just fine, no matter if it's off angled a little bit. I love how these walnut dials contrast really well with a light colored wood, but I also like the birch really contrast well with the walnut drawer, faux drawer that we built. Or you could actually use walnut dials to basically match the color if you wanted to. And of course our Tool Caddy, AKA drink holder. You could use this for all sorts of things. It'd be a good beginner project. Put six packs of soda in there. You can put six packs of soda in here. If you'd like to try this easy dial joinery method yourself, be sure to check the links in the description. I'll also pin it in the pinned comment to help you find it easier. But if you buy them through those links, you're buying them from Mike Taylor at taytools.com, a small family owned business right here in the USA. He was kind enough to send me these dials to try out so that I could show them to you. But this is a really cool joinery project. Also, free plans for this. If you like this video, you'll love 99% of beginners don't know that these mistakes ruin the wood. Click the box, click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Also, another one of my favorite videos right there.